welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel where today I'm back on over at Pizza Hut for round three on their all new melts lineup and judging by the looks of this one today I have a feeling it's gonna have a little bit of a kick or at least I hope it does so guys without further ado here we go check out the buffalo chicken melt here at Pizza Hut and again we're greeted by a lot of crispy goodness on the outside with that parmesan dusting but of course the cheesy goodness in the middle of this one is looking pretty nice as well let's break this one on down real quick well, it looks like we've got a pretty cool box this time around as well. So guys, as for the breakdown, what you're looking at here are two slices of their thin and crispy crust. And in this case, it's gonna be filled with grilled chicken, onions, buffalo sauce, and obviously cheese. And I gotta say guys, the aroma is definitely cheesy in the car. A very nice presentation and a very solid amount of toppings, I should say on the inside of this one. Very, very nice indeed. So yeah, definitely a crispy and cheesy situation with this one, guys. I'm totally digging the way this looks here right now. And for dipping, check this out. We've got a couple of sauces this time. We have their ranch sauce, which is always welcome because it's buffalo chicken naturally. And they've thrown in a cup of their marinara sauce. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go with the buffalo chicken, but of course we'll give it a shot. But guys, again, presentation wise, I'm totally digging the flash fry look of this crust. It looks really, really nice. And I have to say again, the toppings on the inside, very nicely filled out. So there you go, it's the all new buffalo chicken melt, part of the all new melts lineup here at Pizza Hut. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes sir, definitely crispy looking and absolutely loaded out with the good stuff in the very middle here guys. I am totally digging this presentation here. So let me pick up one of these, we'll get this going. And oh yeah, very crispy situation with this one guys. Feast your eyes on that. Very, very nice with the amount of dusting on the outside and of course with all that goodness right there in the middle of it. Let's give this one a shot. I am very excited. It's kind of dripping everywhere. I gotta be careful with this one. Here we go. It's the Buffalo Chicken Melt, part of the all new Melts lineup here at Pizza Hut. Let's peek this out. Mmm, a lot of cheese there. Well, again, I gotta be careful with this one because it is kind of leaking, but guys, a lovely situation with this. There's a lot of saltiness coming from the cheese in this case and a little bit of kick coming from the buffalo action on the inside. And of course, the onions are fairly crunchy, which is actually holding up pretty nicely. But guys, totally digging the overall quality of this one. And of course, it's accented by that wonton-like flash flight thin crust on the very outside. Very, very nice. And I'm going in between drips here. Very nice overall in terms of the overall flavor of this one. Let's go for another bite on this one. And of course, we're gonna get into some sauces. Hang on. Mm. Let me turn it sideways to cut down on the drippage there. But as you can see, a lot of chicken on the inside of this one, guys. And you can see that buffalo sauce kind of drizzled all throughout. Plenty of cheese, plenty of onions. And again, it's accented very beautifully with this crust right here on the outside with that Parmesan goodness. Very nice indeed. And again, very satisfying. For $6.99, again, this looks like it's money well spent, especially if you like these flavors. It's pretty nice. All right, so let's go with a little bit of the ranch sauce over here from Pizza Hut. Naturally with buffalo chicken, I'm sure some of you guys would probably want blue cheese, but I don't think that would really fly with me because I am not a fan of blue cheese. So let's go with the ranch. And again, I gotta be very careful with this one to kind of lean it forward because it is kind of leaking. I think that may have something to do with the onions because of the moisture, but guys, look at that action. Here we go with some ranch and let's give this a shot. Hang on. Mmm, mm-hmm. See the drippage? <laughs> wow, awesome flavor. Salty, creamy, tangy tart with a little bit of bite coming from the buffalo sauce. A nice combination, guys. A very, very nice combination. But again, very curious to know how this marinara action is gonna go with this here. So pretty nice portion they give you as with all of these melts here. Let's give this a shot. And again, very carefully, hang on one second there. Let's give this a go. I'm sure this is gonna be good with the crust, but in terms of all the other stuff there, let's go for a little bit more actually. I'll kind of wipe it on here just a little bit. All right, let's give this a shot. Mm, it's okay. The marinara actually drowns out the flavor of the buffalo just a bit there. You're getting a little bit of spiciness towards the end, but it's nothing crazy. But honestly, this is not really my go-to uh, when it comes to this type of thing. At least with the buffalo chicken, you gotta have ranch. So as this thing is leaking all over the place, let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap this review up with the rating coming up next, but another awesome look at this. I'm so glad to have given this one a shot for round three, a lovely situation. Obviously, stick with the ranch if you give this one a go. This is easily worth your time. One more bite and we'll finish the review with the rating coming up next. Hang on. Mmm. Oh, yeah. 
Well, make sure you have plenty of napkins with this one, guys, because the moisture you're going to get from that buffalo sauce as well as the onions is going to make this one leak out the back. So be very careful. But as you can see, it's a very crispy situation. Plenty of cheese, plenty of chicken, plenty of onions. The buffalo sauce is a nice little drizzle in there to give you a little more accent. But again, very, very nice in terms of the crunch and the overall value. It's pretty solid. Considering you get two sauces with this one, that's not bad at all. Definitely check this one out. So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the Buffalo Chicken Melt as part of the all new Melts lineup here at Pizza Hut a pretty rock solid eight and a half out of 10. Guys, outside of the sauces, the flavor was pretty banging on that. I have to admit the saltiness of the cheese, it was pretty plentiful all throughout the inside. The nice crispy crunch of that thin and crispy crust on the outside is amazing as well. With just a little bit of an accent of buffalo sauce, I gotta say it goes very nicely. You don't have to overdo it. Naturally with the onions on top of that as well for added crunch, a very nice combination. And coming back to the sauces, obviously ranch is my favorite. That definitely satisfied beautifully. And the overall flavor was pretty amazing. Your mileage may vary with the marinara sauce. That's just my personal opinion. It's just all right. All right, so we've got one more melt to check out before this series is complete. So do me a quick favor, drop some comments down below. Out of the three you've seen here on my channel so far, which is your personal favorite? I mean, which looked the absolute best to you? And are you gonna be giving any of these a shot if you haven't already? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, everyone. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.